Good morning, folks. We've got another unplanned outage of the NOAA space weather data. No flare information, no protons, electrons, or SUVI data. That means it's once again up to us to determine what's happened over the last day on our star. We'll look at the sun in several different ways here to diagnose the situation. We'll also hit news from Saturn and a new revelation about Campy Phlegry that falls in line with our past discussions. Starting with the last 24 hours on our star, lots of filaments collapsed yesterday, solar flaring appears to have been relatively low, still no eruptions in Earth's direction, and we're thankful it was so quiet amidst the data outage at NOAA. Taking a closer look at the 94 angstrom view, which does the best job showing flares as bright points, we do see minor activity continuing at the departing and incoming groups, but nothing too large. Some of the bigger pops occurred directly at the limb, aimed 90 degrees away from the Earth. The filament activity is especially noticeable in 304 angstroms, including the collapse of the megafilament beginning to depart over on the right side. We are now left with only smaller filaments, and so the alert for eruptions is found with the incoming sunspots. Let's take a peek at those there. Still numerous, still with a touch of magnetic complexity, but they have behaved themselves quite well since the M9 solar flare near the limb. We're watching them closely here today. A notable CME erupted very early yesterday, and while it is not aimed at Earth, it more resembles the light bulb plasma eruptions of two solar cycles ago than most of the CMEs we've seen in the last 15 years or so. Dense, relatively fast, and much more energetic than the wide burst CMEs. Glad this one is going to miss Earth. On to the articles, where we stop first at Saturn, and folks, this is why we began the live stream last night with a discussion on energy balance at planets and what unbalances it. Cassini data has shown that the planet is imbalanced energetically, and the best explanation for this is not internal as the authors guess, but a change in the incoming space energy to the planet due to the solar system shift and changes in the magnetic fields of every planet around. Last but not least, we're back at Campi Phlegri, the world's scariest volcano in this upcoming magnetic pole shift, where they have discovered a new subterranean structure in the caldera, and they confirm that over just the last two years there has been a sharp uptick in seismicity at the region, rightfully causing significant concern amidst the local population, accompanied by an increase in the ground uplift from the push of the magma below eyes are there for sure. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.